Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here recording as I was due in Nashville, Tennessee. As you know, I've added a new portal to my kind of base area, and I never actually built an enclosure for it. Now, now I'm on fire. Anyway, I thought, you know, it'd be great to have it look like a barn, because the existing one looks like a barn. See, there's the existing one. You know, but the problem is when I added that second portal way off in the distance, it linked with the uh, barn thing. So the portal that comes out over there is now inside the barn, and the portal inside the barn is now unfortunately over there. So since the portal that links to the barn is no longer in the barn, I need to destroy the barn. I need to rebuild the barn greater, grander, better than it was. Now, if you ask me, Joe, how can you make this barn better? One of the things I did with this initial case here was I scaled it down because I thought, well, hey, this barn's in the nether. The nether is smaller than the real world. I should make the barn smaller. But you know what? I think I should also make it more sinister. So I figure I will not set myself on fire again. I will go ahead and recover. Instead of using the um, stone brick here like I have in the other one, I think I'm going to go ahead and use nether brick, which I know I just did a nether brick roof on my library, but it's going to look good, believe me. Now, a second, instead of using the red clay here, I'm thinking I'm going to get nether wart. Now, you guys are probably asking, Joe, where are you going to get that much nether wart? I've never flown in the nether before. This is going to go poorly. Guys, I can do this. Whoa. Okay, I can do this. Okay. So, you guys are probably asking, Joe, where are you going to get nether wart from? Well, luckily, I know a place... That is full of nether wart, and it happens to be somehow inside of here. So flying maybe was not my best choice. Oh wait, ta-da! So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here, and then I'm going to go through there. And once I go through there, it's going to be dark and scary outside. So I'm going to try not to die, and then I'm going to go where all the nether wart is. Hey, it wasn't dark and scary after all. Oh, there, there is a terrifying wither over there. Oh my goodness, this is a massive wheat farm. I haven't seen this. Whoa. Is there a harvesting thing system for this? Hmm. Doesn't seem to have some sort of auto harvester built in. But that's, that's quite the incredible wheat field. I'm going to have to keep that in mind next time I need to feed my cattle. Because they do get hungry. And I don't want to... Dang it. Dang it. So anyway, this building. Wait, there's nether wart brick? Can I use nether wart brick to make a nether wart roof? Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to get some nether wart so that we can make the nether wart brick. I was thinking that the nether wart was like a, a just a plain red tile, but clearly that's not the case. It's like actually like this, this uh, bricky tile. So... I forget how exactly, there's some sort of mechanism that you use in here to determine how much of the place you want to empty. Use the buttons to harvest one quarter, one half, or the entire farm. Push against the trap doors and move laterally to easily replant. Hit button once to harvest and again to stop the water. It looks like somebody here did not replant. Side button, half harvest. Floor button, full harvest. So if I go with the half harvest here, I'm guessing it's just going to flood that one here that somebody already flooded and then did not replant. So I'm going to end up needing, oh wait, is that going to do, i do the floor harvest. Is that going to do both sides? Oh, hey, it didn't. That's actually really convenient. So do those go into like a hopper system somewhere? Seems like I should have gotten more nether wart out of this. Okay, it's just flowing downhill over time. That makes sense. Yeah, you can see it kind of slowly meandering its way over. Okay, so I believe I've collected all the nether wart, so I'm going to go ahead and push the button again to turn it off. And then I'm going to go ahead and head upstairs to start the replant. I think for planting, should start at the top. So, I like the elevator. This goes all the way to the top. Whoa. Oops. Uh-oh. Well, that is not the elevator. I 
think I might have just flooded that place. Um, which might have been replanted up top because, oh no. Man, I've got too much nether wart now. Okay, I'm going to have to replant this whole thing. Let's go ahead and just start putting some of this in here for later. Okay. Oh no, it did that side too. Okay, we're going to have a, a large amount of replant to do, I'm thinking. Okay, so it looks like we now have to replant an entire three-quarters of this place. But we meant well. How big is this place? Pretty tall. Okay, that's fine. Well, I think that took about ten whole minutes to replant. But on the plus side, we got enough nether wart here to make us a... Oh, I almost accidentally thought that was an umbrella... Umbrella-vator. Elevator. And jumped in that again. If I hit these buttons now, I will be so mad. Just gotta take these and turn these into these. Not that. Now, I'm not sure how to turn these nether wart blocks into nether wart bricks. That's part of my source of confusion. It's not that. It's not that. Hmm. Let's find out. Well, I just checked the Google, and apparently I need to put two of these in with two nether bricks in order to get the red nether bricks. But it doesn't look like they actually produce uh, what you would consider I don't know, nether uh, bricks, red nether brick stairs. So while these are a cool decorative item here, I kind of think I'm just going to use the core red nether uh, wart block or whatever for my barn. Let's head on over there. So, probably not going to go this way. Well, you know what? It might be faster now that I think about it. So I think I just kind of go like this. Yay, that was faster. Gonna have to remember that shortcut. Oh, hello, aghast. Allow me to, uh, right back at you. Let's go pick up his tears in case he dropped any. Hmm, he may have died over that crevice. Hey, what's this go to? This is kind of near my house. Let's see, that's Will's Knights. There's a building over there, really. So this seems to be some sort of poorly laid trail. There's a structure there that's got clear purpose to it. Let's go investigate. Man, this is all on fire, too. Okay, well, these are pressure plate operated. You have come for log -a loss. First, you must pass the test. You will probably die. So leave your stuff in the chest. Remember to set your spawn. What? On the one side, hand, I'm kind of like, how dangerous could whatever's on the other side of that be? But on the other hand, that seems hazardous. And maybe I should not go through. Hmm. Well, let's, uh... Continue back the other way and give that a look. So there's our house. And that means whatever is through here is going to be well south of us. I'm wondering if this is where the portal is that comes out in that southern desert. Let's go look around this cavern real quick, see if we see any portals or anything of note. I think that might be one of the bridges I had to construct when I was returning home the other time. Interesting. Good to know that there's a... Uh, thing up here. Now this turns, which is curious. Where could this go? Somebody clearly put a lot of work into this. There seems to be a structure there of some sort. Huh. Dang it. Well, whatever. Let's continue. Nether adventures are fun. Nether adventures might be one And the same as adventures in the other places in the game 
But it's all about what we make of them in our minds. Sometimes we discover things, sometimes we don't. Sometimes we die a lot, sometimes we won't. So we're going on another adventure without any clear path in mind. Because wherever it leads, this song will proceed. A whole lot of Joe Hills dying. Just kidding, I'll probably survive. Okay, let's see. Man, this is a really long hallway. Okay, now it's a really long, narrow thing. Got a soul sand flat here. That's helpful to know if I'm ever needing soul sand. Then there seems to be, like, a structure here. It's hard to see anything. Huh. Well, was the whole point of that to take people to this this part? Like this nether fortress thing? It's kind of anticlimactic. But, like, I don't see anything. Nobody else has marked anything out here. Well, there's a railway over there. It's interesting. I'm kind of wary of flying too much in the nether. I really did not bring my nether exploring kit, like my fire potions or what, uh, what have you. Hmm. Like, normally you'd expect there to be, like, torches and stuff inside a place like this. Interesting, there's some sort of clay pads here. wonder if that does something. Is this like a wither farm? Huh. Well, I don't want to break someone's wither farm by lighting it up, so I'll go ahead and take these with me and head on the other way. Okay, well, let's go ahead and head back and, uh, you know, start making our, uh, what do you have them? Barns in the nether. Time skip. As you can see, I've taken the liberty of, uh, I don't know, cooking up a bunch of nether brick here. And that way, I can go ahead and combine it in this wonderful little box, which some people call a wonderful little bench, but, you know, you can call it whatever you want. Use your imagination. And boom, now we have red nether brick. Now, unfortunately, red nether brick does not seem to fashion into other red nether type stuff, but it might make an interesting accent for our nether warp blocks. Now, we are going to need more nether warp blocks as well, because, let's face it, barns are large by definition. And even though our nether barn might not be the largest barn ever to exist, it should still have some sort of sense of scale to it in general. Now, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to, uh, you know, use the uh, red nether brick for the roof. We're going to have to go with something a little bit more pedestrian. But I think on the whole it should come out okay. Let's go ahead and grab some of the other materials we'll need and we'll be on our way. Okay, so I figure we're going to go ahead and build this new barn around this portal. Now, I actually want to extend this self-same portal out a little bit. Kind of take some of the, uh, I don't know, just kind of expand it a, a moat. So, like, kind of go this way, and then maybe up one. I'm thinking this might be a good example of a place where we could use the red nether brick, right? And I want to make sure that this portal will still take me through before I destroy the old one. So, here we go. Get our little flame cooker out. Boom. Test, test. Perfect. It works. Okay, great. Next step. We need to go ahead and actually build the, um kind of thing that will house this. So, what I was thinking of doing was putting red glass behind the portal and then kind of having like a uh, nether wart brick along the sides here. So like, the barn doesn't really need to be much larger than the door or the walls. I guess the portal is the door in this context. And our roof will kind of cling pretty closely to there. So, for example, you'd see like a roof piece here, and another one up here. Oh, well, that's going to be interesting. There he goes. Okay, so, where was I? Yeah, so like then the next one will go there, except not wrong, like this. Dang it. 
So we got the core concept of the barn here. Dang it. Except for like, you know, stuff like that. Now, I do like the piping we have on the other barn with the diorite. Although diorite doesn't really seem like an appropriate material for our more nether-inspired barn. So what I'm actually going to do is get rid of that guy. And then continue this way. So, well, let's see. We're going to put this guy in the ground. Enjoy the ground. Then we're going to come over here and add our pipe in. See, that's already more decorative. And let's go ahead and get rid of that floating pumpkin, too. Great. So we throw some of this across here. And then we go ahead and integrate some of this red kind of uh, glass here. It's kind of a uh, barrier against uh, any imminent ghastly threats that might yet, uh, I don't know, blow our minds or our bodies, you know, to smithereens. That's undesirable. So we've got that set up like so. I'm not sure exactly. I guess I want to try and continue the roof the same way. Although it may be, it may look slightly better with the red brick here on the parts that have the uh, red glass over the red brick. So let's try getting rid of that. Let's go ahead and remove these center blocks here. That way we can reclaim those for use in this part of the structure here. Okay. So that's already looking a lot more nethery and menacing than our other barn. Hmm, I did notice I kept the piping all the way across the top on these. On, on this one. I'm not sure if I want to do that here. Although, it might look better on this side for sure. Let's give that a quick check. I also like how the corroded top actually looks like, where it's like parts of the uh, bricks, like the stairs, are like, look like they've been blown away. We might want to keep that. Okay, I'm going to come up here real quick using an easily destroyed, clearly placeholder block. Yeah, let's just leave that there like it's it's wounded. That um, I think has an appeal to it. Now, I do know for a fact that gas can spawn right in here. Oh, look, there's one now. And one of the main reasons that you want to build your portal in an enclosed space is so that the gas don't accidentally or intentionally disable your portal. Okay, well, that gas disappeared into the wall. That's fine. Now, having a little bit of an offset here with uh, some manner of glass, like... Something to block the immediate front of it, maybe, but kind of give you entrance angles. Let's let's look at this real quick. Okay, so we have some nether brick to work with. I kind of do want to pick up that quartz for later, because quartz is getting harder and harder to come by on the server. So it seems kind of wasteful to just leave it buried in the ground when I know it's here. What if I put a second kind of portally looking thing here? like indicate that this is a portal room like just bear with me and so we still have this door here yeah I think that that kind of works yeah that's interesting enough you can still get a horse through it when you come out, it feels like you're in the nether. One thing I do like about this this version, though, is the overhanging um, overhanging roof part. I think we do want a little bit more roof. And there we go. I wonder if I should put a window opposite this window real quick. Like right there. Oh, that's bone. Hmm. Wait, how does that happen? Is the bone on this side further out somehow? Oh, that could have been really bad. Do I have any... Okay, I've got rockets and a flat thing. And enderpearls. I think enderpearls might be safest. I'm going to end up in fire. Oh, hey, I didn't. 
but yeah, it looks like on the other side. Well, that's um, that's just bone there. That's that's okay, I think. Not sure how that worked out so differently, but you know what? That's fine. It's not identical on either side, but it's well. You know what I can still do is I can still put this right here, and that kind of pulls it together. Yeah, that works. That 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 achieves what I was hoping to achieve. So there we go. Brand new Nether portal barn. Probably should put in a sign. Now, if there's anything I've learned about Elytra boxes, no, Shulker boxes, it's that, oh, you should always carry signs in them, and that you don't want to put them on the ground next to fires, because the fire might destroy it when you break them. So there's your Joe tip for the day. Okay, let's run up here. Grab a sign. That's not a sign. Dang it, I'm trying to show off my cool laddering skills. Boom. There we go. You know what? Maybe if we put the torches on the inside, that'll light the sign just as well because of the windows. But, or will it? No, that's a lot brighter. Hmm. Not sure I like that, though. This might be a case where the, dang it, end lights or whatever would be appropriate. Like, now that looks like fangs, kind of. Or gnashing teeth. If we add more, does it add to it further? Yeah, that looks like kind of teethy, toothy. Nashy. Yeah, great. Dang it. Okay, well. Anyway, now that I'm on fire. So here we go. We've got our two distinct locations. We've got our... Field of Dreams baseball field entrance, which I probably need to make look more baseball-y somehow. And we've got our house entrance, which looks a lot less welcoming, but I don't know. It has the advantage of being constructed later. I do like the way the fire and the uh, ender particles interact. That actually works really interestingly. Huh. So let's go ahead and swing by up here for one final look from a different angle. Yeah, there we go. Got our little cluster of barns. Well, anyway, until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.